This is the remnant. <laughs> of last night Chinese for my wife's birthday. Now, we're pretty fatties when it comes to Chinese. I have me pork or chicken balls with black bean sauce. And then I tend to have shredded duck fried rice. Link, come on. My wife has chicken chow mein and Hong Kong style chicken. And actually spends about 30 minutes picking out onion and other stuff she doesn't like. <coughs> but I choose that and I eat that. <coughs> Sorry. Stuff is caught back on my throat there. Now, as you can tell by the title, this, this is, I don't know if other people have this experience, but, um, my parents separated when I was very young. Now, when I had takeaway with my mum, I ordered what I wanted and I ate it. Now, it was significantly smaller portions, therefore cheaper. But I just love chicken balls and curry sauce. I can't really eat curry sauce as much anymore because a lot of Chinese curry sauce has uh, yogurt in it. And the older you get, the more you can not tolerate. And for me, that's dairy useless fact <laughs> but the difference being my mum we were very working class very not very well off you know didn't go on out but it was very rare but if I if I wanted something and I got it say I did get it it was mine my dad's family <clears throat> he remarried very very middle class you know lots of dinner parties and stuff like that I had to go around there every other weekend and most evenings it was all the family come round, you know, like step brothers, sisters, their partners, yada yada yada. And you do takeaway. But they did this weird thing where it's like, okay, what do you want? Okay, I want chicken balls with curry sauce. Goody goody good goody. This is when I was a teenager. Goody goody goody. And then you get your chicken balls. And you get your curry sauce and you go, Ooh. Normally it's 10 or 12 in a portion. And uh, you're sitting around the table. And then as they're unpacking stuff, they're putting it onto plates and serving bowls. Instead of going, oh, that's mine. Thank you. They would go, oh, and they put it there. And the first time I was doing this, I'm going, what's going on? And uh, <laughs> I was like, okay. And then someone would reach over and take a couple of my chicken balls. And I was like... "The fuck? Now, to quote a... Uh, what do you say? Overused meme. Charlie doesn't share food. Well, none does Willie. Willie wasn't used to sharing food. Willie ordered food he wanted to eat. It wasn't a lot. That's what he wanted. But no. All these plates... And people would just go over. And uh, my dad go, go on now, dig in. And I'm like, but someone's just taken my food. And they were like, no, 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 we're all sharing. But I don't want any of the other stuff. I don't like any of the other stuff. I'm much more rounded with what I'm willing to try now, but as a teenager, if I found something I liked, it's like a lot of people. If you go to a restaurant, not necessarily a restaurant, but if you go to somewhere that you go to a lot, like a Chinese takeaway, you will every time go. Oh. You can pretend you're a menu here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then order what you always order. If you go somewhere new, you know, because takeaway is expensive, you want guarantee to know you're going to like what you order. That's why you may go to the, a different restaurant every time, but always order the mac and cheese because you know. You like mac and cheese. I miss macaroni and cheese. 
this is my wife, you know you like mac and cheese. So, in it may be different variations of it, but you know it's something comfortable eating, it's now you're going to eat. Right. You don't go somewhere, or very rarely, you know, where it's going to cost you 50 quid, and you go, I have no idea what I'm going to order. This happened to me when I went to a faux restaurant. Now, this is going to, where I sound, ignorant white man. To Thailand? I think. I think it was Taiwanese. And we went there. And it was mostly like fish broth, fish food. Now, I'm not a big seafood fan, but I tried it. I was like, okay, they've got that. That sounds interesting. Well, nice, you know, chicken there. And it was a three course meal. And all three courses, I went. Wasn't a fan. Didn't like it. Didn't moan about it, of course. It was like, you're not enjoying that? I was like, no, it's not for me. I didn't go, oh, this is disgusting, that's something else. It was just a case of new restaurant, didn't try it. That, that is exactly how I was with having to share food. You know, oh, I want my chicken balls. Oh, look, there's green curry. No, thank you. Oh, look, there's chamming. Wasn't keen on noodles. <laughs> and, uh, like, I hate it. <laughs> It was so frustrating. It was like every time, like I, I was legally mandated to stay with my dad from like every other weekend from like twelve to sixteen, and then at sixteen I was like bollocks this. <clears throat> That's another story which I may go into because this is going to be my type of therapy. There we go. And like, you know, I'd get three of the chicken balls I only, and then oh. I don't mind fried rice. So I'd have some fried rice. So my dinner would be a quarter of what I really wanted. And then the rest just, uh, oh, that's edible because I didn't want anything else. Now, green curry, lovely. Black bean sauce, lovely. As you can tell, I'm munching on some now. But I don't want to share my food if I order it. What would you like? I would like this. You can have a little bit of it. So what's the fucking point in asking? Just order a load, and then you say, take what you like. Can I have some marmite on toast? Ran over.